Hello, how are you guys? I'm Megan Graham and Alfie is just like rolling around and relaxing on my lap. I'm gonna bring my computer in a little bit closer. Um, I just wanted to come on for a live stream. So for those of you that don't know me, I've got three Yorkshire Terriers. I've got Lola, who's back here. I think this is Lola, they just got groomed and I'm not sure. Um, Lola, who doesn't really wanna make an appearance and Alfie and Poppy is over there being super shy. Um, so I wanted to come on today to talk to you guys about 10 things that I wish that I knew before I got a Yorkshire Terrier. Um, if you guys that are on have a Yorkshire Terrier or are thinking about getting a Yorkshire Terrier, I would love to hear about it. Um, so the first thing that I wish I had known before I got a Yorkshire Terrier is that they are difficult to potty train, now, I know I've heard different things, and some people say that they have super easy to train um, Yorkies. And I will say that my mother had Yorkies before I did when I was a little girl and tried to tell me that they're difficult to potty train, and I just did not believe her. Um, I really didn't think that they were difficult to potty train. And I will just say that um, Poppy was pretty easy. I got her as a one-year-old. She wasn't too difficult. Alfie, who's in my lap, has been super difficult to potty train, and I can't say he's perfectly potty trained. Um, sometimes when I've been on my lives, you guys have pointed out that he's actually peeing in the background. Um, let me just make this go away for one second here. Um, so Lola is actually perfectly potty trained. So two out of three is pretty good, but everybody has accidents once in a while. They do love to pee on that rug. It's washable, so it's okay. Um, but they are kind of naughty sometimes. Um, I'm curious if you guys also have had trouble potty training your Yorkies, but that was true. Number two on my things that I wish I had known when I got a Yorkie is that they love to bark. Um, this is especially true when you have multiple Yorkies. So when I had only one Yorkie, the barking was not that bad. He was pretty under control. Um, we could go to the park. He might bark a little bit, but he would always stop. Um, the more Yorkies that you have, the more that someone is going to be barking at all times. And because they're a little gang or a little pack, um, if one starts to bark, they all start to bark. So when we go to the park, everybody is barking all the time. And my husband and I are always like, taking alternate routes to avoid other dogs because our dogs are going to be so loud. So it's not a deal breaker, but I do tell people that are thinking about apartment living that they might really make their neighbors mad if they have a very yappy Yorkie and it's common. Hello, Karen, it's so nice to see you. Thanks for stopping by. I'm sorry I haven't been on in so long. It's great to see you. Um, number three that I wish I had known when I got a Yorkie. So before I had Yorkies, I actually had two Labrador retrievers at different times, um, but I had big dogs, so I never had the experience of having a smaller dog. One thing that I wish that I knew um, when I got a Yorkie is that you do have to be careful around bigger dogs. Um, Yorkies are very, very tiny. Their bones are tiny. They're, I, I mean, they don't think they're fragile, but they're very fragile. Um, and I did once have a larger dog attack Teddy, who is no longer with me. And it was not the dog attack that he died from, but I just am more careful because they're little and there's a lot of big dogs in the park that are off leash and things like that. So I wish that I had known how careful you have to be around bigger dogs because I'm always on the alert, hoping that a big dog is not going to be off leash and might put my dogs at risk. Hi there. Hi, Mary. How are you? Joby, it's so nice to see you. I'm doing a little bit better. It's been like a long four months. My autoimmune has been flaring, but I'm finally getting some energy back. So I wanted to come on kind of randomly and talk to you guys a little bit. It's nice to see you. And Monica says my Yorkie is a yappy Yorkie at anything outside the front door, which is glass. Oh my gosh. I could see that definitely being a problem, Monica. Um, and Tiffany, how are you, Tiffany? It's so nice to see you. Tiffany says, hello, Megan and fur babies. I have missed your lives and glad to see your back. Thank you so much. That's so nice. So nice to have you on here. I was like, no one's even going to remember me probably. Um, so, okay, guys, number four of things that I wish I had known when I first, be before I got a Yorkie actually, is that you must have insurance. So I sort of thought it was a scam. I thought it was like an extra thing and I did not get insurance until I had 
two Yorkshire Terriers. I was super, super lucky in that I didn't have any major problems. And so I got my insurance and six months later, Teddy got super sick. Um, so I think I got um, probably within six months, I gave that poor insurance company a bill for like $13,000 and then the bill in or rolling in. So I spend several hundred dollars on insurance month for my Yorkies. Um, I didn't really know that you had to have insurance. Um, it's not a deal breaker, but you know, they did wind up being a lot more expensive than I thought. So I always try to share it with people as well. Um, hi, Debbie. Debbie says you have a 14 year old and her name is Briley. That's so cute. Karen, thank you so much. Karen says, so glad you're feeling better. Definitely. It's still a process and I, I have a ways to go, but I'm slowly but surely just working so hard and I was off YouTube because I just needed time to rest and work on my self-care and my healing it's kind of like a full-time job sometimes um but I am making progress and I also might be making some big changes in my life pretty soon too which are going to be exciting some of them would involve being able to spend more time with these cute little babies he really needs a brushing by the way um, okay, guys. So, and I'm curious if you guys have insurance too, but I'm passionate about that one. And I always tell everybody that you must have pet insurance. It makes a huge, huge difference. Um, number five is you will never want to be without them. I feel like I'm so close to my Yorkies. And before I got them, I could not imagine how hard it would be to leave them at all. Um, it's one of those things where my husband is sometimes an Aspen and I'll go visit him. And if I don't have the Yorkies with me, it's just, even if it's like, if I were to go there for Christmas and we were to spend Christmas together, it's not the same without my Yorkies. So they just become such incredibly treasured family members and you just want to be with them all the time. Um, so really just knowing you are going to get so attached to your Yorkie and I mean, I, I'm sure that you guys agree if you have Yorkies too, they will be your everything. Um, Debbie's asking, what's a good insurance company? Um, I think, Debbie, I've got a bunch of links below that I, I usually include just some of my all-time favorite links. Um, and my favorite pet insurance that I chose is Trupanion. Um, we've been using them for years and years, and they have never, ever let us down. They've never denied a claim. They've never capped our coverage. Um, when Teddy was sick, I mean, they must have paid out forty-five or $50,000. And not only did they never complain, they were super nice on the phone. Um, my payments went through really easily. They sent me out checks for 90% of his illness. And um, they even wrote me a handwritten condolence note when I had to put him to sleep. And they paid for that too, which I did not expect. But um, their, their kindness was unmatched. And the fact that they, a lot of companies, if you look into it, they will cap certain things. And the issue is why have insurance if it's going to cap a certain condition? Because you need to take care of your dog for that entire time. So if they had capped it at, you know, $30,000, it would have been, I would have figured out a way, but it would have been really hard to pay for Teddy's care. So they just let me stress about the fact that I knew I was going to lose my dog at some point, but at least I didn't have to stress about the money part. Um, so that was really awesome. So highly, highly recommend them. Um, they don't pay me to recommend them. I just, I love them. I've offered to do free ads for them if they wanted, because I'm a huge just massive fan of their insurance company. It's awesome. Um, Caroline, sorry, that's personal information. I feel like no offense, but asking people what they paid for something is really personal. So I would never share that. Um, but you can research the price of a Yorkie. I've done videos about it. Um, I wouldn't tell you what I paid for my home. I wouldn't tell you what I make for income. And I wouldn't tell you what I paid for my Yorkie either. Cause it's all just personal. I hope you wouldn't tell anybody that stuff either, unless it's like your mom or your sister or something like your best friend. Um, but they probably wouldn't ask you. Um, you're welcome, Debbie. It is my pleasure. Absolutely. Um, so number six, this is kind of a funny one. I will just preface it with before, and you guys may feel differently about your Yorkies um, than I do, but before I bought my Yorkie, I felt like I needed tons of accessories. I was like shopping for pajamas and, you know, fancy everything and really nice designer carriers. And they don't care. They're, they're just regular dogs. They're little, they're tomboy toy dogs. They love to play. Um, they love to feel like real dogs They're because they are real dogs. Um, I honestly feel like my clothes and things that I have for my Yorkies at this point are functional. Um, 
the, I mean, Lola has like a cute bandana that I just got her. We, um, my husband and I took Lola glamping in an Airstream recently, and we didn't take all of them because it would have been hard to keep track of all of them and things like that. But we did take Lola and I did get her a new carrier and a little um, a scarf, but she really doesn't want all of those like fancy clothes and things like that. Um, she, it kind of like bothers her and tangles her hair. So before you go to Yorkie, it's tempting to buy anything and everything, but you really don't need to, um, you don't need to buy all those accessories. So kind of like see what you think, but Yorkies are just, he, so, it's so funny. He usually wants to stay in my lap, but now that I'm making a video, he wants nothing to do with me. He's like, get me out of here. Um, it's really, really funny. Gwendolyn says my Yorkie's name is cupcake. She really doesn't bark much. She just turned one year old. Um, she still won't go outside. Um, she'll wait until I bring her back inside. Teddy used to do that too. It's funny. I think he wanted the convenience and the warmth and comfort of being inside. Um, that's a really, really tough one. I feel like it's one of those things where as soon as she tries to, you just have to really watch her. And if she tries to go inside, when you get inside, just bring her right back outside for sure. And that's definitely the best way to, um, to train her. Um, so Carolyn can't comment on the price, but I would always say look for a show breeder. They will give you the best pricing, um, not necessarily the least expensive, but they're going to give you the best um, quality dog, the most beautiful, uh, well-rounded, all of those things. And I don't think that they're trying to take you for a ride on price, but Yorkies are definitely not cheap. And the cost of everything I can say as a business owner, um, I own my own in-person business and I have YouTube and I manufacture and import beauty products and the price of every single thing that I import and sell has gone up this year. So I guarantee that vet care has gone up this year too, because there is a huge uh, supply chain interruption because, you know, every country was shut down and it's really hard to get goods and services. So everything's more expensive. And I'm assuming there's been a lot of demand for dogs too, because everyone and their mother seemed to get a dog this year. That's for sure. Um, Tiffany says, do Yorkies overheat easily? My Pomeranian doesn't tolerate any heat. He has a cooling mat. Absolutely, they do, Tiffany. And it's so funny. Um, so recently I was making a video on, and I'm in the middle of editing it. It's kind of like a big one because it needs a voiceover, et cetera. But I was doing a video on how to give a Yorkie a bath and um, researching articles and things like that. Obviously I know how to give them baths, but just learning a little bit more so I could do my best for you guys. And um, it mentioned, I believe Yorkie's core temperature is usually about 71 degrees. So different temperatures feel really different to them. So yes, they are not super heat tolerant and you have to be really careful. Um, one thing, so I, I have two new assistants now. I've gone through quite a few and that's another reason why I haven't been here because I was my own, I'm just really busy with my busy business projects and I usually have someone to help me and I didn't. So it was a pretty busy time. Um, and I had to, I'm training the new girls and I had to explain to them, you've got to be really careful about when you bring your Yorkies out, when it's hot out, um, they're so close to the pavement and things like that. So I really only do early mornings or evenings. Um, and if I go outside in the middle of the day, it's a very, very short walk because even the pavement is just so hot for them. Um, guys, if you are on and you don't mind, I would love it if you would hit like on this video. Um, YouTube takes it as a signal. Thank you. I just saw the like button go. Um, they take it as a signal that you like my video. If you dislike it, hit dislike too. I don't mind. I want you to be honest with me. If you think it's a bad video, that's totally fine too. Um, all of the little things that people say are always helpful. Like a lot of people complained about how loud the music was on my small dog accessories video. So I just stopped doing music because it was honestly extra work. And if it made it hard for people to hear or understand me, then um, I decided just to leave it out. Um, by the way, Tiffany, you're so sweet. I love that you have a cooling mat for your dog. I think that is awesome. Um, everything I do is with my dogs in mind. So I love that you're thinking of that. Um, random thing, guys, and I'm going right back to my checklist, but my husband and I are looking to buy, I don't know if you guys are into this, an Airstream trailer. Um, we took Lola glamping and it was the best weekend, like bar none of her entire life. She spent so much time outside. She had so, so much fun. 
and um, you know, we we took her bike riding, we took her hiking. Um, she liked to be there when we were grilling. So we're actually looking to get our own airstream and probably do some special things because we would bring our three Yorkies and our Siberian cat. So we're going to be working on a lot of training this year um, and recall and things like that, just in case we were opening the door and somebody got out, God forbid. Um, so we started training the cat to come when called as well. And we're going to be taking him on a lot of walks. But anyway, just wanted to tell you guys, I'm super excited. Um, I think we're going to be traveling around in like the 30 foot Airstream trailer. So it's going to be amazing. Um, I'll definitely share more as it goes, but they're way cooler than I ever thought. So, um, all right, guys. So we just talked about the fact that they don't really care if they have fancy clothes. And number seven, and this I learned the hard way, and most of you guys probably know this, but if you haven't got a New Yorkie, you should know this. They require a lot of grooming. So I have three of them, and every single day I'm spending, you know, on each dog, I'm spending about 10 minutes grooming each of them. So I'm spending about 30 minutes a day grooming them. On my busy, busy work days, I have my two gals that help me. So they kind of can alleviate some of that grooming. But one thing that I didn't think about when I got multiple Yorkies is just how much time I would spend every single day grooming them because you don't want them to have mats and it's not good for their skin. So tons of time for that. And also they are always needing to go to the groomer or in this case, I have a groomer that comes to our home now and she is amazing but so it's pretty expensive and it's pretty time consuming and i learned the hard way that you have to do it every day because when i first had teddy i didn't groom him like very much i barely brushed him and he looked pretty good and he had a ponytail in well i dropped him off at the groomer and they shaved him because he had mats so that was when i learned the hard way that you really have to keep up with your yorkshire terriers grooming um I wish I had kept it up because I felt really bad and he looked terrible when he was shaved. Um, it never happened again and I've always been on top of it. Um, but I did get a question on my YouTube the other day and someone said, you know, how do you prevent mats? And I was like, easy, you groom each and every single day thoroughly. And I groom with a comb as well. Um, so I do go deep into the tangles and I get every single tangle out every day because they just build up and it gets even worse for sure. Um, it makes a big difference when you stay on top of it. I still have not imported those combs. Um, I would love if anybody would send just a comment here and tell me. So I have two super, super great combs that I use all the time on all my Yorkie Storytime lives. They're really hard to find online. They don't have them on Amazon. Um, they have similar ones, but I don't think they're quite as good. Um, so I was going to import them and put them on because I sell things on Amazon, but only if you guys are really excited about them and you would want to get those combs. Um, I keep three of each just so that I have them in my travel bags and things like that. But I am going to get those if you guys are into it. Um, just wanted to check. So I've been firing up my online store because my husband and I are planning on going and traveling with the pets. So I'm going to really get my online stuff going. Um, I'm also importing some really beautiful sleep masks and um, there are silk sleep masks and silk pillowcases that are all non-toxic from Asia um, to sell as well. So those are my new projects that I'm doing because I was really tired, not feeling well, and I got behind on my business as, as happens sometimes. Um, Debbie says, how often can I give Briley a bath? Um, tell me again. I'm so sorry. Briley is 14 weeks old. I probably wouldn't be, this is just me. I probably wouldn't be bathing my puppy too much yet. I might just do like a wet washcloth or something. And maybe around four months, um, most people say to give your dog a bath around every 10 days. I find that's pretty sufficient. Lola, my dog that has no teeth needs a bath every single week. Um, she can't go more than one week. So everyone is different. Um, I would say once a week can be okay, but you need a really good pH um, balanced shampoo. Um, in the links below in my description, I mentioned Aspana Silk. I love that. And I also love the Isle of Dogs puppy shampoo. They're both really beautiful choices meant just for dogs. And the puppy shampoo is so nice, um, has a very soft smell, and it is a tear-free shampoo, so it's not going to burn their eyes. I mean, even as an adult, if I get any shampoo or face wash in my eyes, 
it just burns and burns and I can't take it. So I'm very sensitive for my dogs. Um, Karen says, oh, I'm sorry, Regina, do they shed? Um, so they don't shed. They're not like Labrador retrievers and things like that. I will say it's just like a person's hair. Yes, your hair comes out sometimes. It's very, very, very minimal. But at some point, their hair is going to come out. It's not like it never comes out. It's just, it's not like my Siberian cat whose hair is literally everywhere and anywhere. I didn't vacuum yesterday, just one day. And today when I was vacuuming, it was like tumbleweeds. Um, but I, I did my robot vacuum, which is kind of like, let's see if I can point right there, which I love. It's a Eufy. I have to link to that too, because it's so awesome. And then I followed up on all the corners with my Miele awesome vacuum. That's like the Ferrari of vacuums. Like I just have to have that with this cat, but Yorkies really barely shed. Um, Karen says, yes, groom every day. My poppy had her first haircut because she had mats and needed to go short. She is five months old. It's just like, you just get in the habit, do it while you watch TV or do it. I've been doing it first thing in the morning just because I feel bad because otherwise they have their little eye boogers and it's so gross and I, it's just got to be so uncomfortable. So I've been doing it first thing in the morning a lot of times. Um, and Caroline says, you, you groom your Yorkie and it's been okay. That's awesome. Um, Sherry says, Dolly is now 12 years old and the love of my life. That's exactly how I feel, Sherry. They're just like the best things in the world and we love them so much. Um, it's a love that is unbelievable. They, it's like they read your mind. They're so affectionate. Um, mine. So of course I've been married for two years, but my husband's been in my life for over six years now. Okay, Poppy. Um, and it's funny, Alfie's always been really partial to me, but he's starting to really buddy up with my husband. So it's almost three years after we got Alfie and he's finally getting attached to Jeff. Jeff feels so good and so important. It's so, so cute. Um, so the grooming is like a huge thing, guys. I will go back to my list. I'm sorry that I digress. Um, number eight, I really wish that I knew this. It is hard to stop at one Yorkie. You get one Yorkie and maybe you see a Yorkie puppy. If your friend has a, a Yorkie puppy, maybe in my case, the breeder sends a picture of a new Yorkie and, you know, all of a sudden you have Yorkies. Um, I will say, and not that I would give up one of my puppies, obviously, two for me was the perfect amount of Yorkies. One is great too, depending on what you do. Two, he's got to go. He's a busy guy. Two was, why don't you want to sit with me? Oh, you're being so, yeah, you're not being that nice. Um, two was the perfect, perfect amount of Yorkies for me. Three is sometimes a lot. Like we are talking about packing up in getting an Airstream, really outfitted, um, you know, travel trailer and getting a truck and traveling around for a few months. And I will say it would be easier if we had two Yorkies, not three. Um, it's just a lot because you can't really like sneak them in places. I mean, there's so many of them. So, but it's hard not to have multiples. That's the entire point of it. Mary says, I would love it. I have looked for some and I haven't liked any of them. My Jackson lets me brush everywhere, but it, um, but his stomach, he's only 15 months old. He's still a baby boy. Um, okay. Awesome. So I'm going to order those, those combs, um, was just curious. Cause I feel like I know people have a lot of grooming tools, but they are my absolute favorite. Um, so I'm going to bring those in. It's not a big risk as long as I know that everybody wants those. Um, Karen says she wouldn't let me groom her. Thought I was playing. She's much better now. That's so good. It's hard to get them used to it sometimes. Um, they just like take a little bit of practice. And I will say Lola is like pretty, she's not the easiest to groom. I have to groom her standing up. Um, I can groom her face when she's on her back, but when she gets to, when I get to her legs, she just like jerks her legs around and does not want any part of it. Um, Kelly, how are you? Kelly says, I have a little 12 week old Yorkie and your videos have been so helpful. Oh my gosh, Kelly, that makes me so happy. Thank you so much. Um, it's always, so I have to tell you guys, it's always so funny to me. I'm sort of a shy person, which nobody ever thinks. Um, and I just started YouTubing or, or rather watching YouTube on my TV, which is right over there because we have been trying to learn a ton about RVing and traveling. And like, I, I learn a lot from YouTube too. So I've been watching a ton of like ins and outs of RVs and like 
it's funny, this video, I thought of it because I saw someone and it, they did like 10 things they wish they had known about RVing. And I'm like, I need to do that for Yorkies because I know so much about these. Like my watching other things on YouTube gives me ideas for what to share with you guys, because um, it's just such a good place to learn and get new information. So Kelly, I'm really happy if I give you um, any information that's helpful for you. As always, all my information, I will say I've done a lot of reading. I really believe in it, but it's also my opinion. So if you guys find something that works better for you, it doesn't mean that your way is wrong. Um, you know, everybody has their own way. And the most important thing is just that we care for our babies and, and we give them, you know, we treat them as we would want to be treated with kindness and gentleness. And I know that all of you do that because you wouldn't be on here if that's not how you treat your Yorkies. You obviously care. Um, so that makes me really happy. Um, Wayne Nutt says, my one-year-old male has a beautiful coat, but every time he gets a bath, um, used dog, puppy shampoo, medicated, and baby shampoo, um, he itches like crazy. Could it be the blow dryer? Um, Wayne Nutt, it's probably not. So for those of you that don't know, um, I have, this is strange, but I have a lot in common with my dogs. And um, what I will say is I have a background in like lifestyle and health and uh, kind of chemical sensitivity, if you will. And what I really think it is, is if you really look at all the ingredients on the back of most of the products, there's just a bunch of junk in there that shouldn't be there. And um, the very, very best product that I've ever used is by far the Asana Silk. Um, it is not irritating. It is so gentle. Uh, Lola has the most, most sensitive skin I have ever felt and it works so, so well, but I think it can be a few things with Yorkies. Um, it can definitely be the products. So there's a lot of fragrance in products and fragrance is actually, it's, I mean, if you really look, it's one of the worst things for humans and it's one of the worst things for dogs. And I know nobody wants to hear that because everybody just loves their fragrance, but it's not healthy for you and it's in pet products. Um, I will say I Love Dogs does have a little fragrance. It's very, very minimal. It actually doesn't bother me. It's so minimal, but even better as far as that's concerned is the Aspana Silk because it is completely all natural, um, no added synthetic fragrance. So there's just less to irritate your dog. Um, when that, if it's just after baths, it has to be something topical like that. I was going to say if it was all the time, I'd look into their food because there's also a lot of like things that are not food and dog foods as well. That's why I always go to um, just food for dogs is one of my absolute favorites, but I'm actually feeding them. I'm not feeding them that right now. I'm feeding them ever more. And the reason why I've always gotten just food for dogs, but all the supply chain interruptions made it so tough for them to get my food to me on time. So I wound up temporarily switching to Evermore, but I'm liking it so far. It's totally organic. Um, guys, if you're on and you haven't hit the like button, please do. It makes such a big difference. It's up there. Beep, beep, up on the, I don't know if I'm actually pointing to the right thing. That's on my screen, but it's up on that side. And if it's not on that side, it's on that side. Um, okay, guys. So it's hard to stop at one. I think that's probably obvious. I'm not the only one because I feel like people are always on here and they have one Yorkie, but they're thinking about getting another one. Um, uh, number nine, and I don't mean to make you guys sad, but how I wish I had known how hard it is to say goodbye. Um, we always picture it, you know, I, we think about those things with everything in life, saying goodbye when you have to say goodbye to your beloved Yorkie, it's just so much harder than you can even imagine because they are so wonderful and you love them so much. And they are, even though every single one of them is, is wonderful there's not one that's the same, you know, there's not, you can't replace one Yorkie with another Yorkie. And I will say, I've been getting a lot of questions um, because I talk about losing Teddy and how hard that was and some of the things that I did. And so I get a lot of questions from people about how to get through grief and losing your Yorkie and things like that. Um, I don't know what you guys think, but I was actually thinking of making a video about it because I think it's something that everybody that has one is going to go through. So, if it just helps a few people, if I give people a few ideas and maybe a little bit of comfort or something, then I think that's a good thing. If it's too sad for other people to watch, then obviously they don't need to, to watch that. Um, I know YouTube and, you know, media and things in general, everybody loves happy things. Um, but I also feel like life is a mixed bag, right? I mean, the, the flip side of how much we love things and how special things are is that eventually we're going to miss those things extra because they're so wonderful. So um, 
that was something that I was thinking about is just making a video. Um, it's tough for me because I don't know the perfect thing to say for people, but I was just thinking of, of what I did for me to take care of myself and my process of deciding it was time to let go and then how I dealt with that and even like leading up to that. So I know that's not probably like the most fun video, but maybe it will be helpful for people when they have a dog that's not doing well, if they're not sure if they're doing the right thing, because I know that people have asked me for advice on that. So when I when I hear people asking me for advice on something repeatedly, when there's a question, I often think of making a video because um, it's easier. I can give them better information than if I just write, you know, like a quick two line comment, which I don't think is always that helpful for them. So um, definitely if you, you know, let me know if you think that could be good for some people, if there's anyone that you know that could be helped by a video like that. They don't have to have a Yorkie to, to be helped. I feel like it was just a really, really tough thing for me. And I looked online and things, and it was really hard to find any advice when I was going through it. Um, my godmother was really, really helpful to me. And that was awesome. Um, number 10, and you know, before I got a Yorkie is just, I wish I had known how wonderful, how amazing they make your life. Um, Teddy, so I got my first Yorkie, I'm 45 now, and I got my first Yorkie when, oh my gosh, how old was I when I got Teddy? Actually, I think I got Teddy, it's been, I've been a Yorkie owner for more than 13 years. So I got Teddy when I was 30 years old. So I've owned Yorkies or been the companion to a Yorkie for 15 years. And, um, they, to me, I loved my Labrador Retrievers. They were wonderful, sweet, sweet dogs. Um, to me, nothing compares to a Yorkie. They're so sensitive. They're with you all the time. They're portable, so you can bring them places, which is great because it's really hard to be without your best friend. So um, I just, I love everything about them and they have made my life so wonderful. And my only regret is not getting a Yorkie sooner. Um, that said, I think it's so important to, to let people know all of the pros and cons with Yorkies because you're bringing a, a life, you know, a life into your life and they are living, breathing creatures that deserve to be, you know, respected and treated gently and all of those things because, and, and this might sound funny, all of us on this earth just happen to be what we are, right? Like we are all people. If you're reading my YouTube, obviously you're a person if you're able to read. Um, or listen or what have you. But, you know, dogs are just born as dogs and it doesn't mean that they don't deserve all of the kindness and understanding and thoughtfulness um, that we can give them. So um, just, you know, just remember to go through all the pros and cons before adopting a Yorkie. Uh, someone did come onto my YouTube the other day and I'll just be honest, I fire back sometimes when people say really ridiculous things, but this person came on and said, I got my, York my brother a Yorkie as a present and he wasn't ready for it. So I tried to return to the breeder and they wouldn't take it. And I was like, they probably tried to get their money back, right? They weren't just like trying to do the best thing for their dog. They were trying to get their money back. And they said that the breeder wouldn't give, or the breeder didn't want it. So they said, oh, I feel bad, but I'm thinking of putting it on Craigslist. And I said, you know, please don't put it on Craigslist. Um, find a, a Yorkie rescue and also never get a pet again. Because, you know, if you're like, don't, you know, think that this pet isn't going to work out, but you should do it again. So the one thing that I always hope for is that everybody that gets a Yorkie is going to be as responsible as all of you guys are because you're on here because you care and you're doing your research. Um, so anyway, it makes my heart feel good that lots of people want the best for their Yorkies and things like that. So um, guys, it's always so awesome to talk to you. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that before I go, let me know. But just wanted to pop on here and say hello. Um, there's going to be links below. And um, I definitely let me know how you like those products too, but can't recommend the Aspana Silk highly enough. It is amazing. Um, there's, who is behind me? Let's see if I can get, what about Lola? Let's show Lola. Um, come here, Lola. So, and also just wanted to say my two new assistants are working out phenomenally. They're actually friends of Skylar, who was my assistant that just left. And I just had my amazing groomer come and groom these babies the other day. Uh, Lola tried to bite her a lot, but she has no teeth, so she couldn't. Um, she did a great job. She was super gentle. And Lola, who used to get really sick when she went to the groomer, 
um, was just fine. And it's not a, it's a little tiny bit more than bringing them to the groomer, but it makes me so happy that they're not getting sick. It's just like the very, very best thing. So she's, she's so wonderful. I'm like always so afraid she's going to decide to stop doing it. <laughs> um, Tiffany says a video on losing a fur baby would be great. A great book about it is called When You Lose the Pet You Love. Oh, Tiffany, that's such a good idea. Thank you so much. I'm going to look through that book. And then um, I actually just got Audible. I'll see if it's on Audible so I could listen to it. Um, and then I could link to that as well for people. I really, Tiffany, you always have the best things. I wonder, I am going to write that down because I feel like a lot of times when people make great suggestions, I sometimes lose that. So Tiffany, let me write that down. Thank you. Um, it is losing when you lose the pet you love. Okay. When, sorry guys, I always have to speak out loud. When you lose the pet you love. That is an awesome suggestion. Thank you so, so much. Karen says Poppy likes to chew on everything. Just had a couple baby teeth left. Oh my goodness. They... I haven't had a baby in so long and this one doesn't have any teeth at all. JW, thank you. JW says, thanks for another great video. Glad to see you back. It was really, really good to see you guys. I am going to put my harnesses on my babies and take them out for a nice relaxing walk. And I will look forward to seeing you guys again really soon, um, working on editing my video on giving your Yorkie a bath. So I'm going to get that one up too because a lot of people were asking me um, about that. Oh, Last thing I meant to tell you guys, sorry, I digressed, but I've been watching all these videos on trailers and I just learned, I know it's, it's, it's terrible, but I just learned how to watch YouTube on my TV screen. And it totally freaked me out because I realized that people might be watching me on the TV screen. And I was like, oh my gosh, how does my face look? And it's, it's so funny to think of like being on the TV screen. So anyway, I just wanted to share that I was kind of laughing when I was watching other people's videos, because when I'm making my videos, I don't even really think about people watching them. I just like make, you know, do my best. So anyway, thanks for watching them. Thank you for supporting me. It's so sweet. Um, Jackie says, hi, Megan. I have three Yorkies too. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. You have three. I'm not the only one. Um, it says, I love watching your videos. This is the first time I have caught you live. My Yorkies are three, two, and seven. That is amazing, Jackie. They're so close in age too, which is really nice but also nice that they're not exactly the same age. I feel like that's a really, really good thing. Um, really glad that you caught my live. It's been quite a while since I've done one, but I will try to do one again really soon. Um, I'm not really on a regular schedule for them, but I really appreciate you guys must have gotten like notifications or something to wind up here. So I really appreciate you popping on. Um, Miss Molly says my six month old Yorkie got bitten by a spider. Oh my gosh. And for about an hour was having tremors and muscle spasms. I was so scared. Thankfully she is okay now. That is so, so scary. I'm so glad she's okay too, Miss Millie. That's super scary. Oh, well, I'm glad that she is okay. And it's scary that a spider can do that because of course they can be anywhere, but glad that you got her the care that she needs and that her tremors stopped. Guys, Lola says, good night. It was great to see you guys. I will see you soon and I'll look for my video that's going to be coming out soon. Um, by the way, in my links below, just so you know, my first link is to my, if you guys don't know, I produce beauty products. The first one that you see, it's a little black makeup towel. Um, I design those, I import those and I sell them on Amazon. So if you need a bleach safe makeup towel, please get mine for your guests. They're awesome. And my, I have a Spanish version as well that is on clearance because I guess people didn't want the Spanish version as well, even though it's beautiful. So the uh, English version is $24.99. The Spanish version is on sale for a four pack for $3.99 with shipping from Amazon. Um, so get those before they are gone. They're amazing. They're just as good. They're just Spanish. I don't, I thought they would be super popular, but they're not. So grab them while they're there. Um, it says, I need help with potty training my Yorkie and I want to train her on a potty pad. Any suggestions? Absolutely. Um, go into my Yorkie videos. So I have a whole, I forget what it's called, like a cluster of videos on here, a collection. And I have a video on how to train your Yorkie. So watch that start to finish. It should be super, super helpful for you. Guys, thank you so much. I will see you soon. Have a wonderful day and stay healthy and stay beautiful.